First of all, sorry for the crude video here, but uh, I just wanted to do something really quick to help those of you who, like me, have had trouble um, getting your Novation launch key, uh, MK2, which I have a launch, launch key mini MK2, getting that to correctly um, sync up with your FL Studio 20 installation. And so while you may be like me, having no issue playing music, you can actually use the, um, the, the play button, the stop button, the metronome button, et cetera, et cetera. You're not getting the full integration of the launch key MK2 into your FL Studio because there's some misleading information, at least this was my experience, for which options to select up here. So we'll start at the top. Um, you can see here that I've got the launch key mini as my uh, output device, launch key mini uh, MK or launch Novation launch key MK2 keyboard in port 165. And next up is the MIDI out 2 launch key mini launch key uh, MK2 performance. Um, the problem is, is that, you know, when you go over here to press the in control button, you get the red light, you know, and you're supposed to be able to press this to, to, to bring up all of these pads after you press like the 10 pad to actually get the thing um, running. So if that's not working uh, in this setup. So again, here's the, the output section, launch, Novation Launch Key MK2 and Launch Key MK2 Performance. And down here, it's the same thing. It's the MK2 keyboard for input and launch key MK2 um, for performance in port 170. Um, and as you can see here, the controller type for the performance is set to uh, launch key MK2 performance. So that that's not working for me. I can't get the the controls to, 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 to properly uh, line up. So it seems counterintuitive, but for me, this worked. For me, selecting just the regular launch key performance mode, not the MK2, the regular launch key performance mode worked. So now that red light just came on, and now when I press this scene button here, you're gonna see that the these pads are gonna all color up. Now I'm going to press the 10 pad and it's going to turn on the controls. So if I want to, let's see, I, I haven't memorized what the different buttons are, but that, there, there's, there's the record button. See, there's the metronome. So if I press uh, play, you can see now that I'm using, um, it's, it's letting me use the other controls. It's not just... Um, you know, for playing synth sounds anymore, I can actually get the full use. And there's a there's some uh, link online to show you what all of these buttons can do with uh, your FL Studio uh, implementation. So hopefully this was helpful. I, I I recognize that it's a really terrible video, but I wanted to get something up quick as I resolved it. Again, counterintuitive under the input. MIDI into launch key mini for the Novation launch key performance section, select controller type Novation launch key, not the MK2. Not this one, select this one. When you're selecting your input for the um, performance. Uh, again, this just worked for me. Uh, ho hopefully it works for you, and I apologize again for the sort of really bad video, but if it helps one person because I saw a lot of people still struggling with this, great. Thanks.